18 year old Narislom Ismoilov comes in with continental medal success as the 2017 Asian junior gold medalist down at 63 kilograms back in 2017. His opponent, Mikhail Usov, has also enjoyed continental medal success as the 2019 European junior silver medalist at 70 kilograms. Valerie Pastuhov of Moldova is the referee. And in addition to that continental success, a year later, Usov progressed through the, to the youth classification and he comes in as the 2020 National Youth Championship gold medalist in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. So we're underway then. The winner goes through to face off against Diaz Moljigitov of Kazakhstan, but that is potentially nine minutes away. That's what we're scheduled for here over the course of the three three minute rounds. But these are 75 kilogram middleweights, and both of them can crack. The man wearing red, operating out of the southpaw stance, is Nurislam Ismoilov, 18 years of age. His opponent is 17 year old Mikhail Usov. Russian, as is the man from Uzbekistan, both of them competing in their third bout here at Kielce 2021. It was a really hard fought route to this quarter final stage for the man in red, edged his way over the line against Andrei Katarovich. Man from Belarus playing his part in what was a really hard fought affair. Rusov progressing here with a unanimous points decision win over the man from Hungary. Left hand not too far away from Ismoilov. Beyond the midpoint of the nice counter right hand is landed by Usov. Looking for the same shot once again, but Ismoilov was. Oh, that's a low blow, but no complaint from Usov. Seems to stray below the belt line. Again, that is why the white sash, whether box the wing red or blue, must be visible. Used to be a sash back in the day, now it's a, a waistband on the shorts. So plenty of patience as the boxers look to establish their own straight punches. Speculative left hand fired in by Ismoilov, but didn't really find the range. Counter right left is nice work from Usov, who spun off the line effectively as well. Good three-shot combination where a couple of them did get through for Ismoilov. As he lands with backhand success again, but it was counted from Usov. So the first round in the book. It is Usov who's taken it across the board. He having the greater volume of effective clean punching. Please. 
Round two. Into the second round then. The two incredibly strong boxing nations facing off here at the semi-final stage. Uzbekistan here with an 18 deep squad, 10 men and 8 women, but just look at the accuracy from the man in blue representing a full strength, full strength 20. Strong team with 10 men and 10 women, and that is Mikhail Usov of Russia. Really is cutting a composed figure up there in the boxing ring. Very cool under fire. Is Moilov being encouraged by his corner to come forwards. So much patience being exhibited. There's a solid left hand landed by Ismailov, but it was counted from Usov. So a minute gone in the second round. Again, you see the way Ismailov's head swiveled as he was coming in. He took a nudging little right hand where the impact was doubled up because of his forward movement. Burst of activity from Ismailov. That was a strong left cross. But then look at the backhand response from the man in blue. Ismailov fighting in burst here as he wings a left hand into the body. Foul blow. Spoken to about that by the referee from Moldova. Hitting on the break from Ismailov. Left hook is a nice shot on the back foot from Usov. Still piling his way forward is Usov. Excuse me, is, is Moilov. Again, this is reminiscent of how he boxed in yesterday's contest. His feet just seem to slow a little bit. At a similar juncture in the second round. And the third round was a really hard endeavor for him as he takes a left hook on an unprojected chin. And look at him breathing through a wide open mouth. But he keeps on trying to come forward. But while he was standing still and taking a breather, he was picked off by two punches. Again, having to fight an increasingly sporadic burst here now. 10 second clap brings a burst of activity from both boxes, but it was Usov who had the better of the exchange at long range. Very good boxing indeed, again, from the man in blue. Moilov continuing to come forward. His activity just decreasing as the round progressed. Some of the action from that second round. Second out, please. Round three. So into the final round then, and the man in red needs a very big final three minutes indeed because he's conceded the opening two rounds. All of the scoring judges, but this type of tempo, unless he's putting all of his faith into a single finishing shot, is not going to get it done. He needs a massive final round, 10-8 round, just to get back on terms. But I'm not sure he has the energy to box for sustained periods of time. Just bursts as he lands a right hook there, but he was picked off by a nice right uppercut from Usov. So he knows what he needs to do, does Ismailov, as he takes a right cross to the pit of his stomach. 
The question is, does he have the energy to do it? Because again, those straight shots that he's just been tagged by continue to drain his energy level. So it's a very difficult mission now for the man in red. But again, he possesses quite a punch, does Ismoilov. Can he find it to get his man out of there? RSC 4KO because the tempo which he's boxed for the first half of the round isn't enough to give him the foundation for the big round that he needs. So he would have to deck his man repeatedly and completely dominate the remaining minute in order to produce a 10-8 round. That's increasingly unlikely. Maybe he's in the realms now where he needs a one-shot stoppage. But Usof keeping his cool and continually spin, spinning off the line, principally to his left, but also to his right as well, going counterclockwise as he showed there. Ismailov is trying to let his hands go, but he's looking... Similarly labored as he did in the round of 16 contest last time out. But you have to credit the man's determination. He keeps on coming, looking for that shot. There he gets through with a single shot success, which just disorganized Usov. But time is not on his side. One suspects that Usov will look to use his experience and see this one out. Score to the right cross there. Ismailov looking to dig away to the body with his left hand. So Usov content to cling on to his man just before the intervention of the referee and nurse this one over the line and it will be the Russian boxer wearing blue who will go through so the semi-final stage with Diaz Mozhigitov of Kazakhstan awaits. We need official confirmation. Nurislam Ismailov not able to produce the big final round that he needed. Truth be told, he probably conceded that final round as well. Just didn't have the energy. Produced a single punch. All the rally required to turn this one around. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Mikhail Usov, Russia. And there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Mikhail Usov of Russia, taking each of the three rounds 10 9 for all five of the judges. A very composed display indeed. Narislam Ismailov eliminated here. One win shy of the medal stages. Acquitted himself well.